A very popular procedure that we can do right in the office is an upper eyelid blepharoplasty. That's where we take some skin from the upper eyelid that might be hooded or excessive and remove it and take some fat in the corners of the eyes to make the eyelid look more crisp and more youthful. Now, it sounds like a really invasive procedure and it sounds painful, but the vast majority of patients are very comfortable during that procedure in the office. It's done under local anesthesia, meaning we don't give you any gas or we don't put you to sleep. We just inject the area, we measure everything out, remove the skin, stitch you up, and you're done. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours to be done in the office, and the downtime is about two weeks because of the bruising. Again, most patients actually feel very comfortable after the procedure and during the recovery time, but the stitches stay in for about five to seven days. After the stitches come out, you have a little redness around the incision, but that tends to go away pretty quickly. Once the redness goes away, the scar looks pretty good. At the third week, the scar gets thicker, and then over the coming months, the scar tends to fade away. So eyelid skin is the best healing skin on the body. So after this procedure, the eyelid scars are pretty much imperceptible. Most people will never know you had anything done because the eyelid heals so incredibly well. This procedure can be done in the operating room if you have other surgeries done, like a lower eyelid surgery, a facelift, and it's commonly done with those other procedures as well because the eyelids, just like everything else on the face, ages at the same time as other parts of your face. The downtime for an upper eyelid surgery is about two weeks. Now that's a social downtime because of bruising. Bruising tends to settle in the lower parts of the eyelid and in the cheeks, and so that can take about two weeks to go away. But it shouldn't limit most of your daily activities like cooking, brisk walks, and the like. It'll take about three weeks till you can get back to rigorous exercise, but for the most part, this is a pretty well-tolerated procedure given that it's on your face. Um, it can be done under local anesthesia, so you don't have to worry about being asleep for the procedure.